offense to the creator of Morning Tide, but personally, I don't like this game. The gameplay, in my opinion, is abysmal, and you can't even piece together the story. Let's get into my flaws. Let's start with the gameplay. You see this? You fish like this, rinse and repeat, until you get to the end of the game. I don't like this system. But Sea Lord, a couple of days ago you reviewed Dredge, which is a fishing game, and you said it was awesome. Yeah, but Dredge did it much better. It also did mutated fish better. Let me explain, let's start with the fishing mechanic first. I'm going to be going off the Xbox controller, just so you know. Anyways, in Dredge, you go to a fishing spot, select it, and then you basically play a back and forth game where you have to click stuff, basically it's a little mini game. Then you collect the fish. This is actually super simple, it is a fast process, and there's nothing wrong with it at all. Morning Tide on the other hand. Now in order to catch a fish you need to put it in a circle. Basically there will be a circle for where the fish spawns. The fish will try and escape the circle and you have to reel it back in by twisting and turning your vision back into the hole or ring whatever you want to call it. Now in theory this doesn't sound much worse until you realize that this game's sensitivity is abysmal. I can literally flinch and the fish will go to the other side of the bow. Not to mention, the fish can sometimes go so far out that you can't even reel it back in and you don't even touch anything. Now, to be honest, the Xbox sensitivity thing was abysmal, so I tried with the pad and it was still pretty abysmal. Now on to the second thing, the mutated versions of real fish. Let's go on to Dredge. Dredge has you sometimes picking up exotic fish that have been mutated. And they look really weird. Strange, mutated, bubbling even. And while it doesn't give you a scare, it gives you a certain feeling of uneasiness. This game, in my opinion, however, besides the face ray, the other creatures in this game aren't scary. Well, at least disgust me. The only reason the stingray thing disgusts me is because of the sounds it makes. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The fish mutants don't even look that good. Just a face slapped onto a certain part of a fish. And I'm not trying to insult the creator of this game, I just don't like this game. The sensitivity was so bad that I had to watch someone else complete the game. And let's just say the story is... <laughs> Basically, at the end of the day, you reel up, what is this, a baby? You bring it in, hold it in your arms, and then the game ends. There was no cutscenes before this, you were just on boat, fish. Why random baby in the water? Game cut to white. This is genuinely one of the most weirdest endings ever. You don't get a conclusion. There was no story built up. There are theories that the main character, um, is there a baby in the sea? And he now regrets that remembering them. Or he had falling out with his wife? I don't know. This game is genuinely just confusing. I don't know the story. The story is garbage. If there was even just one, one cutscene at the start, the story would have been just okay. Nope, no conclusion to anything. We're just left with a mystery. Which sounds good. I love cliffhangers. But there's no build up. The only thing I really like is how the ocean gets redder. Not because of the ocean, like blood or anything, it's because of the sun, but it still gives off an eerie feeling. That's the only thing I really like about this game. Also, I forgot to mention this, but sometimes, number one, my fish would be in the circle, yet it still wouldn't count it. Number two, the circle gets sometimes covered up by the waves. This may have been a gameplay choice, and if it was, that was an abysmal choice. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this shorter video and I will see you later. Okay, peace.